Hey, it's Tim, Pickup Truck Plus SUV Talk, and we're continuing our coverage on the new minivan segment. If you haven't seen it yet, we're doing all four new minivans this year. We have Toyota Sienna, we have Chrysler Pacifica, Kia Carnival, and the Honda Odyssey. And as much of a truck guy I am, well, put my wife on the case. She's much better at minivans than I am. So, we are in the Chrysler Pacifica, and honestly, I've driven it a few times, but she spent the entire week driving it. So let's talk about in this video we'll do a review we'll talk about the exterior interior driving impressions talked a little bit of what's new in 2021 including a new hybrid powertrain and then we'll kind of get some thoughts on how it competes with the other minivan so let's start with this so uh you called me i was out of town when this showed up and you thought we had the wrong vehicle i did because i was driving back from the office and i was expecting a minivan and as i'm getting ready to turn onto our street I see this blue car sitting there and I'm thinking that does not look like a minivan it looks like an SUV and so I texted him saying hey what are we supposed to have and and once I got out of my car and looked at the van itself realized it was the Pacifica so it doesn't have a, a boxy minivan style to it it looks more like a, a SUV yeah so I mean it's a lot different shape now <laughs> Uh, we've, she's done a lot of driving this, so I'm going to show you some video on the screen um, a little farther away because kind of got some bugs on it. But anyways, <laughs> we got the <laughs> we got the new minivan here. Sorry, I didn't take it to the car wash. I know we're kind of stressed for time at the moment. But anyways, we have uh, new in, we have the interior. So yep. this is I kind of show some interior on the screen here, and uh, we're going to talk about what the interior kind of looks like. So oh, here's wow. the dash. You can see the panels here and. On my steering wheel, I have the ability to change what is said up there. So as you can see, I can change the screen setup. I can see vehicle info versus the speedometer. Um, all of these different menus that I can look at to help me figure out what is going on with the car and how well it's driving. Okay, let's go back to fuel economy here. So here's the fuel economy. Now this is not the hybrid. We have the all-wheel drive appearance package. So our fuel economy should be 20 combined city and highway. So there you go, you're doing better than that. Yeah. 17 city, 25 highway is what we're supposed to be getting uh, in this vehicle. So we have an all wheel drive set up here and this one's $50,180, base price is $48,390. So okay. really don't have many of the stuff besides an appearance package just makes um, some different styling on the exterior mirrors and an Apple leather bucket seats with the S logo. Okay, so that's fuel economy. So let's talk about this interior now. So, you know, we have an S package, which S behind the seats, S badging, we have body color mirrors, we have front fascia, rear fascia, black coloring and that. So just an appearance package. But really, everything you're seeing inside is pretty much standard. We have the new Uconnect 5 system. You have up to 10 different phones you put on this thing. Um, it's really a fast system getting through different menu systems. They have new icons. Um, I did a whole like day long thing on behind this and this is a pretty impressive system. Uh, they've always done really well with their infotainment systems. Mm -hmm. We have the wireless charging, which is standard. We have the um, HVAC controls here, which are always nice buttons. Really, the way they do their push buttons really nice as well. I liked having that more classic as well as up here because I can control everything from here, including the rear, but I can also control everything from here as well. Yeah, redundant keys are a big win. Um, as we go to the back, as you know, every Pacifica has this screens back here, different games. They have added a couple new games. I was looking at different games this year, but a couple new games. The kids love that. DVD player and new games. Oh, we have Concentration Chess, Simon, Clone, and Backgammon are coming. But there's also a variety of games that are built in. So you can play Tic-Tac-Toe, mm -hmm. watch movies. We have the, the Tri-Zone um, Sunroof, which is interesting because the back is open. You can kind of see, but this one I had to close because of the, the glare from the sun due to the video. But you can actually open this, goes all the way back. All the way back. And uh, yeah, it's almost like you're sitting in one of those, you know those uh, rides you used to sit in where there's a glass top of a vehicle and you used to look all around you? Yeah. And you Kind of like the Jeep in Jurassic Park. Right. And then you'd hurt your neck because you'd be like this all the time. <laughs> yeah. It's that same idea. Waiting for a T-Rex <laughs> to come attack you. Right. So, uh, you know, as far as interior wise, we have still and go seating in the rear. Um, there is a change with that with the hybrid, if I can get my notes, but the hybrid has an exception for that as far as stow-and-go um, in the rear. Uh, yeah, so hybrid is now a powertrain option and you can do a plug-in hybrid powertrain. Third row power, folding seats, stow-and-go, stow-and-go back, all that kind of stuff. 
are exceptions as far as for the plug-in. But, you know, this one has the, that stow and go. It's been a big favorite for a long time. Take those seats, hold them down. We'll show you some video of that on the screen. Yeah. Um, so that's kind of the interior. The kids have utilized the interior. I've always thought these seats are probably some better seats. They've really liked having this car. They actually prefer it over some of the cars that we have in the part in the driveway. Okay, so kids a big fan, wife's a big fan. Mm -hmm. So behind the wheel, what's it like to drive it? You know, um, it's actually super easy. It drives really nice. Um, it's a smooth ride. I've been told that I corner too quickly, so apparently has some get up and go. <laughs> <laughs> But it, it's a great hmm. ride and I feel pretty confident driving it. I don't feel like I'm driving this this huge bus around. It it feels more like a, an SUV feel. Okay, so we got that. And we have a ding of a phone because that's always going to happen when doing video. I do want to point out a couple things. Can we look at fam cam? Oh gosh, yes. So I know you're a fan of fam cam. So can you <laughs> talk through what fam cam is? So this is, there is a camera in the ceiling that is above the middle of the second and third row, right about here on the ceiling. And this right here is my seat. There's the passenger seat. I can click on any chair and see what they're doing. So let's say I've got a kiddo who's crying because this one touched him. I can turn the fam cam on. I can see exactly what this one's doing and then remind them, hey, I can see you don't make me pull over. The other cool thing is, is when I do have these seats folded flat, if I'm carrying any kind of like um, bleach or cleaning products or something that I'm worried, like plants and stuff, if I'm worried about them falling over, I can turn this on and I can kind of keep an eye on them while I'm driving. Okay, so we got that as far as new, that's 2021, that's new things there. Wireless, uh, Android Auto, Apple CarPlay are new as well. Mm -hmm. And then I'm gonna put this little screen down. So this is the hybrid versus the regular, the non-hybrid. So we have, uh, was it 287 horsepower, 6,400 RPMs, 262 pump-feet of torque. Over here, you have just 260 horsepower. So the hybrid, because electric powertrain with the gas engine, you do have a little bit more um, get up and go, probably at a lower RPMs. The uh, both built in Ontario, Canada, and they both can come in front wheel drive and all will drive for the gas and not all will drive for the hybrid because that's where the battery goes back there mm -hmm. um so it's kind of hard to pull that off but uh you know i think uh overall i mean i've only been in a few times but i, I gotta tell you what i think it's one of the better looking vans on the marketplace yes. um or and i like uv-esque type design <laughs> i did like driving it this has been one of my favorite vans to have okay so let's talk um now you've you've driven the Toyota Sienna, you've driven uh -huh. the Honda Odyssey, now you've driven the Chrysler Pacifica. Uh -huh. We do have a Kia um, Carnival, I think you're calling it, it's coming eventually. So out of out of the three so far, what's been your what, what kind of where, where does this one stand out against the three, and kind of what what's kind of in your mind? I would say this is at the top of the three. Um, it's got all the features that I really like. It's got the best of both of the other two vans. There are a couple things that I wish they had, like the Sienna has the mirror that has the built-in camera. So instead of having, you can flip a switch and have a mirror or you can have the rear camera. I wish this one had, um, but it doesn't have buttons out of the way. So I, I'm not distracted by pushing things because as my family knows, I get distracted easily. Um, I really enjoy having a lot of the features that come standard with this. And I feel like with some of the other vans, I may have to go up a trim level to get some of these same features, but don't quote me on that. Yeah, no, I think you're right on that. I mean, we're looking through all the information here and, and use it like the S is just an appearance package, which is a nice appearance package, but mm -hmm. we higher trims, a little bit nicer finishes, a little nice touches. But when you have the fam cam, you have, you connect five, you have the wireless charging, you have the wireless Android oh, auto the wireless charging. Right. Is awesome. And you have the screens built in, yeah. you have stow and go. I mean, you get a lot of, um, and the vacuum and the vacuum. And there are so many awesome little drawers and pockets and like I'm constantly finding things. 
and places to store stuff and little buttons that say push here. I feel like Alice in Wonderland sometimes. <laughs> Eat this, drink that, push this. <laughs> Yeah, and, and this has got the new USB-C's down there, so lots of connection for, for stuff you're not going to do wireless. So really, I mean, from a road trip standpoint, you have... Oh gosh, yeah, this would be a great road trip car. Yeah, you have plenty of power outlets for everybody. You have lots of entertainment outlets. You have uh, of lots of uh, heating and cooling for the back. You have the vents up, up top, and you have the um, side windows as far as they have the shade built into them, so you can shade the kids. You don't have to put... I've seen a few people driving around with blankets outside their cars lately. Yeah. Yeah, summertime, hot heat, protecting the baby. This has got them built in. So, yeah, I, I, you know, I, I've always been a big fan of them. I think they're one Achilles heels. They have to keep proving that they're reliable. That's the one thing they're working yeah, on. Yeah, that's what I'm and hearing. And if they're, if they're reliable, man, this is a great option. And I've had people had good success. They were having a good success. That's the only thing that maybe the Sienna and the Honda have over this is that they're, they have a better reputation for quality, yeah. for uh, long-term reliability. Um. So does the... Uh... The start, remote start, comes standard also? Yes. Okay, that's pretty awesome too. Yeah. I so. like that. <laughs> there you go. Sorry. Lots of cool features, like lots that. of standard features. <laughs> Check this out if you over here, website down below. I'll put the whole listing of all the playlists of all these mini vans together. You can see them all at once, get our opinions on them. As always, thanks for watching. We will see you down the road.